Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr. and Mrs. America and all the ships at sea, welcome to iDigitalMedium.com. I'm your host, Ron Reese, and today we're going to take a look at uh, Spiritron on the Stream 2 page of iDigitalMedium. Now, for those of you that have been to the page, you're probably familiar with the sound, but if you're not, uh, give a listen real quick. Now, uh, the live stream takes place on its very own computer, which is sitting at this little alcove next to the computer desk. And as you can see, uh, the audio file runs 24-7, and it is streaming on a Shoutcast server. And you can bring it back. Now, as good as the um, Stream 2 is, it can be better. The problem is, well, the problem with Stream 2 is that uh, there is a 34 second delay between the time it leaves, the stream leaves the computer till it uh, hits your computer speakers. And because of that, there may or may not be the kind of interaction that uh, you would like to hear. However, you can greatly improve your communication or the interaction with Spiritron by running the program on your own home computer. So what I'm going to do is close down the Spiritron program and blah 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 I forgot and so anyways folks uh, we bring up the Spiritron we bring up Martin's Infinity Box EXP program and I will assume that you have already given your project a name and so this is what it'll look like now to load the Spiritron program, click on any one of these little folder icons, and in which case I'm going to select the first one. It's going to open up your documents library. Now I have placed the audio file in the downloads folder, so it's easy to access. Double click, and it loads it into the program and it's ready to go. And then all you need to do is follow the uh, settings that you see on the website, in which case uh, we give reverb, activate reverb, give it one tick up, set your tempo all the way forward, set your rate oh, a little better than three quarters of the way down. And then all you have to do is click on the pitch button and you'll be able to use your keyboard, your arrow keys on your keyboard to adjust the pitch to your own uh, unique hearing abilities. So let's go ahead and uh, bring up the audio, give you an idea. And so as you start to adjust your pitch, you'll know you're getting close when they start to uh, address you by your first name. Okay. Um, so this is good for a test. And so just uh, begin your interaction, you know? Hey guys, how are you? Can you hear me okay? Now, I always like to ask for confirmation of what I think I hear. 
in which case they usually respond, uh, that is correct, or no way Jose, if uh, what I think I hear is not correct. So guys, can you see me? Okay, great. I thought I heard somebody say, yes, I can see you. Is that correct? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to do a little test to see how the interaction goes with uh, Spiritron. So what I'm going to do is hold up some items and ask the good folks on the other side if they can identify these items. So here's the first one. Hey, guys. Can you tell me what I'm holding up, please? A camera. I thought I heard somebody say a camera. Is that correct? Okay. Now I'm going to hold up another item. Guys, can you tell me what this is, please? Alright, I thought I heard somebody say stapler. Is that correct? That's right, a camera and a stapler. Now for this test, I'm going to hold up a piece of fruit. Here we are piece of fruit. Can anybody tell me what I'm holding, please? All right, guys. Uh... Let's try this again, please. Can you tell me what I'm holding in my hand? Very good. I heard somebody say a banana. Is that correct? Okay, I thought I heard, I heard somebody say that is correct. Now, for the last test, I'm going to hold up a book. Can you guys tell me the title of the book, please? Great. Now, can you guys tell me who wrote the book? Whose name is this, please? And? Excellent. Thank you very much. And so, like I was saying, as good as Spiritron is over the web. You get a far more personalized interaction if you run this on your own home computer. And uh, if you have your own settings that you would like to share with the rest of the, the world, you know, hit us up. Send us an email and uh, we'll take a look at it. So thanks, guys. Do you want to say bye to all the folks at home? All right. Well, this is Ron Reese and for iDigital Medium, and I would like to say thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please uh, post them in the comments section, and we will talk again soon. Take care, guys.